Friday, August the 17th, 30th. First of all, I'm Mr. Skinner, not Skinner. And I am your teacher, not your friend. Other teachers like to be friends with students. I am not your friend. I am your teacher. I'm interested in math. Nothing else. How you act with other teachers does not dictate how you act with me. I don't care what they let you do. You do what I want you to do. And here. I'm not interested in your private life, thus do not discuss it in here. I don't want to hear any of it. It's just going to be math, school, period. Classroom rules are over there on the board and on the screen up here. No excessive cackling. I cannot tolerate. No stealing anything. Number three, do not throw in. Number four, no inappropriate language. Number five, do not be late. If you're three inches from that door in the hallway and the bell goes off, you are late. And if you argue, the fine is doubled. No. Rule six, no arguing. Rule seven, not working. You will never put your head down on your desk in here and have nothing to do. Rule eight, no cheating. We do not compare answers in here. That's cheating. Rule nine, no disrespect towards Rule 10, not doing homework. You don't do homework, you lose the points for the homework, you don't have a clue what's going on after that, and you're going to lose money as well. Not to mention some freedom if it comes to... Rule number 11, no touching others. For any Rule number 12, do not interrupt unless you need ex explanations about a problem. That's fine. That's not the interruptions I'm talking about. Don't interrupt to ask about who's playing tonight and all that other stuff. I have nothing to do with sports, so I wouldn't know anyway. Rule 13, no lying. Rule 14, do not annoy us. Get on the board, that doesn't mean you can do it. It means it's covered by Rule 15. Anything else I don't like, it's against the rule. Each rule infraction costs $50 million, which is going to be one. One of these is a million. So 50 of these is what you're going to have to pay for every time you break a rule. The fine doubles each time thereafter. So it's 50, 100, 200, 400, and so on. Skinner money is worth 15% of your gold. Lost or stolen money will not be replaced. You leave it out somewhere, it's going to be gone. Everybody gets robbed every year because they leave it out on their desk, in the gym, in the gym bag, floating around everywhere. Don't. You will need one billion dollars for the first nine weeks. A hundred of these is one hundred million. You're going to need one thousand of these blue ones for the first nine weeks. Money that has been damaged is not valid. You can't write on these. You can't write on it. You can't fold it up. You can't rip it. If you do, it's worth nothing. Facebook. How many in here have Facebook? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, everybody? All right. So add the Skinner Money Classroom Facebook because that's where you can get homework assignments if you don't write them down. The videos go there as well in addition to YouTube. Twitter, if you have Twitter, you can add Skinner Money on there. Announcements are made there for class. If you don't have a YouTube account, make one. It's free. And then add my channel because it will tell you when the videos are loaded so you don't have to keep checking back. And here's the classroom website, which has everything all in one place for you, which is really convenient. So you can just go there and click on these if you want to get to them quicker. And of course, all the information that doesn't change is over on the left. The notes, which are the screenshots of everything I do up here, are put in the Dropbox public folder, so you can go back and find it. You'll go there, it'll say classroom, that you find your class, what day it was things like that. All lessons are recorded and loaded to YouTube. Homework is loaded to Facebook. All announcements are made on Facebook. All notes are loaded to the computer on Dropbox. Time to practice. This is basic math. You can't foul this up. When you come into this class, the first thing you're going to do is go to the yellow tub, or not the yellow one, but the orange tub in the back of the room and take a pinch of those square papers back there. So go do that. Here we're going to practice how you're going to come up to the desk. So on this first one here, just a simple math problem. This is 7 plus 3 minus 2 plus 5. All I want is the answer written largely on the square piece of paper. When you come up to show it to me, go to the back of the room first. 
then come back around up this area by the board. Never come this way because I won't even acknowledge you. Go to the back, come back up through here. If you have the right answer, I'll float you some money. If not, then I'll wave you on. Make sure the answers are written largely. Use the front and back of the papers before you throw them away, if it's necessary. All right, not bad for the first time through. During class, if anybody needs extra time, then I'll put a bonus problem up while everybody else is waiting. On this one, it's 10 minus 2 plus 5 and then 8 plus 5 is 13. That's pretty good for a start. Here's another one. 6 plus 7 times 3. For this, it's important to remember that if you do 6 plus 7, which is 13, and multiply it by 3, you'll get 39, which is wrong. You have to do 7 times 3, which is 21, then plus 6, which is 27. That's important to remember. All right, we'll practice. This one is 3 times 6 plus 5 times 2. So you'll have 18 to start with and then 10, so it's 28. All right, so for tonight, to bring back on Monday, what you'll have is this is the homework assignment tonight. It's basic math. It's, it's no big deal. What you have to do is write your homework out a certain way. For example, problem one, write the problem and the problem number. Show every step of work that's absolutely necessary to get the answer and then box the answer at the bottom. When in doubt, include that extra step. If you don't show all of your work, you don't get all your points. If you do all your problems like this, nice and neat, don't write so small that I can't see it, but don't write so big that it doesn't make any sense. Just stay within the lines, nice and neat, and you'll get 50 points for your homework assignment if you do all the problems and show all the work. Even if you miss every single problem, you will get 50 points for your homework assignment. We will go over the answers, right and wrong, by you bringing them up to the table, just like you did for these practice problems, and you'll get money for right answers. And if there's any questions about how you missed them, we'll go over those as well during the homework check. 